Hi everybody, my name is Rachel and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to connect a portable washer and how quick and easy and simple it is to set up and connect a portable washing machine. All portable washing machines hook up the same way to the water supply source of your choice, unless if it has an option of manually filling. A water supply source would be such as a sink, like a sink in a kitchen or a bathroom or a shower. You can attach it to your detachable shower head by using an adapter. And with this adapter, you can also use it to attach to your sink, whether if it's a sink in the kitchen or the bathroom. This way you can wash your hands or wash dishes at the same time. Also, the adapter can be used for a hose outside. And a hose is actually another water supply source that you can use that you can connect and attach your portable washer to also be able to wash your clothes outside. Also, if the portable washer does have the features of having both hot and cold water inlets, then you can hook them up just like a full-size portable washer and wash that way too. The main difference that you'll find is the size of the adapter for the sink, like for the faucet, they could vary in sizes, but they're generally all the same. And also whether if it's a male to female connection or female to male, but don't worry, I will link down in the description all the different options and sizes that you have and also anything else that I mention and recommend, I will leave links down in the description and in the comments for these things. So this way it narrows down your search and you'll know what it is that you need to get. Before we get started, I want to quickly mention that I have reviewed already several different portable washing machines and portable dryers. They are full of a lot of helpful information. I will list the link to the playlist down in the description and in the comments so you can check that out after this video. First, we're gonna start with the setup, where you're going to connect your portable washer. For the sake of the video, we are going to be doing it here in the kitchen, but wherever you choose is definitely your choice and where it is most convenient. I do recommend getting a washer dolly. It just makes it so much easier, even if the portable washer does have wheels, it makes it so much easier to just move it around wherever you're needing to. And it's just honestly a great investment for a small price and just brings a lot of convenience. Having a stand is also very nice as well. When we lived in the apartments and had a portable washing machine and dryer, we did use a stand and it's just aesthetically pleasing. It is a vertical space saver and doesn't take up a whole lot of room and also just looks nice and tidy. Before you do get started using your machine, I do recommend that you do do a quick clean of your washer and the washer tub. You can use a disinfectant spray that is safe for the tub, whether if it's a stainless steel tub or a plastic tub, use your discretion on what would be best to disinfect it with. Or you can do a quick wash cycle if the washer does have that option available or a self-cleaning cycle if the washer has that as well. I'll leave it up to you but I feel just wiping it down with a disinfectant would work great as well. I use here in the video a spray that I have made that is just rubbing alcohol, a little bit of essential oils, and a tad bit of water. Now for the connection. You'll want to remove the water aerator, and once you do that, you'll then want to connect. You can connect a quick connect, and honestly, just like the name quick connect, it is quick and easy and just I highly recommend getting one. The Hello Home washer, the washer that I'm using here in this video, it does come with one. Not all of them come with them, but they are very inexpensive and are a really good investment to get. So this way it just makes it a lot easier. You can use it for whatever sink you're connecting your washer to, even your shower. And you can also use it with the hose outside too. So it is able to be used pretty much anywhere and it just makes things so much simpler so you can just get to your washing that much quicker. Since we are connecting the machine to the sink, we will be connecting the water supply hose to the back of the machine to the cold water inlet side. It is important that you only connect it to the cold water inlet side. Unless if you are using both the hot and cold water inlets, you will want to do it this way. Once it is attached to the cold water inlet, you are able to regulate the temperature through the tap by using the, both the hot and the cold. As long as you're not only using the hot side of the faucet and using both the hot and cold, it'll be fine. You don't want to just put scolding hot water into the machine because that's not good for it. But by turning on the hot and cold faucets, you are able to regulate the temperature. Next will be the drain hose. You'll want to make sure that you put some type of a lint trap attached to the drain hose because a lot of lint does come out and it will quickly clog up your drain and you don't want that. 
I have found that using just a regular pantyhose stocking and a rubber band attached to it collects even the most finest debris. You also want to anchor it down and I have found using that a little bungee, I'm not sure exactly what they're called, but a little bungee we'll call it just anchors it down nicely because the water pressure when it does drain the water does come out pretty powerfully so you'll want to anchor it down a bit and this way the water doesn't get everywhere and I have found that this is a very inexpensive way to solve these problems. Next you'll want to plug in the machine and then go ahead and turn it on. Then you will turn on your water faucets and if your water faucet leaks a little bit, don't worry. Just by using the washers that the machines usually come with and also a little bit of Teflon tape, it'll take care of any type of leaking that's coming from the faucet. It's a very easy fix. Next, you'll want to put in the detergent of your choice. Most of these machines use the HE type of solution laundry detergent. Some of my favorites are either Purcell or Cheer Color, and I find that that works really great. If you are interested in a water softener, if you don't have soft water. Borax works really well and so does white vinegar. After you put your laundry detergent in, you'll want to turn on the washer and this way the tub can fill up. After the tub fills, I like to let the machine agitate a few times so this way it thoroughly mixes in the soap before I put in whatever laundry I'm going to wash. After the machine agitates a couple times, I then stop it, put it on pause so this way I can start adding in my clothing articles or whatever it is that I'm washing. You don't want to fill the machine machine though more than three-fourths full. I have found that using a paint stick just by pushing down the clothing articles it helps to be able to gauge how much of the washer has been already filled. And this way you know not to fill it past the three-fourths capacity just like a regular size washer. After that, you just go ahead and start the machine and start your load and let it wash. In most cases, you'll want to leave the water supply on because it does have different cycles of the machine where it spins and drains and then it fills and agitates again, spins and drains, and a lot of machines do the same thing. Unless if it's just a manual fill type of machine, then most likely it'll be this way. And you can always check your manual and see if your machine does have different cycles that it goes through. But generally, with all the machines that I have tested, they do. Other than just one that was a manual fill, and I believe that was the TG23. All right, so that is it. Super simple and easy. Before you leave though, if you guys could please go down to the comment section and leave what type of portable washing machine or portable dryer that you are using and whether if you recommend it or not and as to why. This way, for those who are currently looking for a portable washing machine or portable dryer, they can narrow down their search a little bit more as to your guys' recommendations. I hope you found this video helpful. If so, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below, leave a comment and share with a friend. Thank you so much and God bless. Bye.